Hey guys, my name is Chris and welcome back to Haywood Homestead. Today is July 19th and we're going to be uh, doing our budget overview for the first half of July, which covers the 1st through the 15th. So I'm going to go ahead and put um, those dates up here. So 1 through 15, 2022. All right, so during this first half of July, we had uh, four paychecks come in, and so I'm going to list those. Uh, the first one we had was on July 1st, and this was uh, my wife's pay, so I'll put Amanda. And her first paycheck amount was 553 cents. Next, on the 6th, I was paid And my check was, let's see, 1,226 dollars And then Amanda was paid again on the 8th. She's paid weekly and I'm paid bi-weekly. And her second check was four sixty six twenty one. And then on the fifteenth, um, she also got another paycheck. So, and the that check was four sixty one thirty seven. Uh, she is, my wife is an hourly employee and she works between 35 to 40 hours a week. Um, so her, her paychecks do vary a little bit from week to week. So coming down here to fixed expenses, uh, the ones that I list here will just be uh, the ones that um, have to be paid within the first half of the month. And so the ones I list here are not all of our fixed expenses for an entire month. So uh, the first one we had to pay was rent. And that was 800. Our construction payment was, uh, let me see what that was, uh, 342. And then we have uh, HBO, and we pay 15 a month for that. Uh, Canva is 13. Uh, electric bill was 49. And this is for the temporary electric pole on our land for the construction workers. So this is not what our power bill will look like once we're living in the house, in case you're wondering how it's so low in the dead of summer. So, um, and then Apple storage is next. And that is $3. Okay, I believe that's all of those. Um, we're gonna come down here to savings next. So <clears throat> the first of the month, we had a, a dividend deposit into our savings account um, of $2.14. And then I also moved uh, $75 into our savings account from our spending account, which gave us um, 77, let's see. 77.14 in total that we moved into our electronic savings account in our bank. So I'll put um, savings in bank. All right. Um, 
so far this month in our pet health sinking fund, we've added $35, a vacation, uh, $200, car maintenance, We have put in 50. Uh, let's see, gifts. 15. And then mortgage. We have put in 60. All right, so for, um, this is something I'm starting to do more of as far as variable expenses go. Uh, normally, I would only list the main variable expenses, like the the items that were sort of higher in price, uh, but I'm going to start in an effort to be transparent with showing you what our budget looks like. As you know, we have a savings account, a spending account, as well as a uh, expense account. Well, the variable expenses that I list are what we have spent out of our spending account um, from the 1st to the 15th. So there's quite a few of these, but I'm going to list them. Um, so the first one is clothing. At Kohl's and we spent, or my wife spent 27.15 there on some new work shirts. Um, gas, let's see, gas is also variable even though we budget 400 a month for gas. It's variable in that it's never exactly 400, it's more or less. So, uh, but so far as of today, we have spent, or as of the 15th, I'm sorry, we have spent $240 and 32 cents out of our $400 budget. Um, QVC, we are making payments on a MacBook. I thought the last payment on that was uh, this month, but apparently not, it's in August, and then that will be through. So I'm, I'm anxious to get this done with, and the payment on that is 352. Let's see, next I had a haircut and that was $35. Um, so a couple weeks ago, uh, Amanda was sick and in fact, she was sick for a couple, probably two and a half weeks. And um, she took lots of medicine and finally had to go to the med stop to uh, be looked at and to be subscribed some medicines to help her get better. And so our copay at the med stop was $40. And if you're not aware, we do have health insurance through my employer and it's deducted um, out of my paycheck each, each pay period. So, um, Let's see, so medicine, we spent, when she got her uh, prescriptions filled, we spent $26.59 at the pharmacy. Uh, we had an Amazon order, and we spent Eighty-seven seventy-six. I think this was on Prime Day, where a lot of the items Amazon sells was marked down. And one of the things I bought was a uh, air compressor um, to keep in our cars for the tires when they lose pressure. I've always wanted one, and they had one marked down. It was probably around a hundred dollars to at least half off. So I got a pretty good deal on it. All right, let me see what is next. Um, 
Let's see, in the food and grocery category, we spent 167.36. We are living with family right now, so uh, our rent covers groceries for the household. Uh, but if we sometimes throughout the month, we have to go and buy a few extra things from Walmart or wherever, or if we go out to eat, um, that's what this entails. So, all right, so pets, we had to go by PetSmart and grab a few things, and this was $35.29. We went to Walmart the first of the month and we spent $76.93. And then lastly, which I've run out of boxes, but I'm going to put it under, under here. Um, I've given Amanda $100 in cash uh, for the first half of the month. And so I consider that a variable expense because um, what I give her varies um, each time when I take money out for uh, sinking funds. I uh, take her money, take money out for her based on what's in our account at that time. So I'll put Amanda $100. All right, so that's it for variable expenses. Let's add all of this up and see how much. Um, we've spent so far the first half of July. So coming over here to um, fixed expense, fix, sorry, I can't talk, fixed expenses. We have rent, 800. Uh, let's see, we have construction, 342. HBO, 15. Canva, 13. Electric bill, 49. And Apple Storage 3 gives us 1,222. So put that right here. Uh, for savings, we have 7714 plus pet health 35, vacation 200, car maintenance 50. Gifts, 15, and mortgage, 60, gives us $437.14. This is for savings. I'll put that over here. 437.14. All right, for income, coming back up here, we have... 500.53 plus 1226.27 plus 466.21 plus 461.37 gives us so far in income uh, $2,654.50. And then for variable expenses, we have clothing, twenty-seven fifteen, gas, two forty point thirty-two, MacBook, three fifty-two, haircut, thirty-five, MedStop, forty, uh, twenty-six fifty-nine for medicine. And Amazon, 87.76. Food and groceries, 167.36. Pets, 35.29. Walmart, 76.93. And then Amanda, 100, which gives us $1,188. And 40 cents. All right, so this is everything, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope all of you are doing good and uh, that you're staying on budget and 
you'll have to let me know in the comments below if uh, you have any feedback for me or uh, anything that you're saving for. Um, the only big thing we're saving for right now, as you know, is our cruise at the end of, the end of September. Um, and so we are looking forward to that. Uh, but thank y'all for watching, guys. Thank you, as always, for your support. Please give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you uh, join our YouTube uh, family here. And y'all have a wonderful day or evening. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.